All right, greetings. Okay, this has to do with, uh, um, I think some people are aware of it. We talked about it on the radio show. Uh, so I was at uh, in Orlando, I did a channeling of uh, uh, with a Poseidon. And I got like an energy attack. So I'm going to go into that. But I don't know if it was an attack anymore or just to shut me down or whatever it was. Uh, it's getting interesting. Let's put it that way. So I want to go back a little bit before that, though. Uh, so, yeah, I went to. No, I'm doing uh, this weekend. I did everything I don't normally do. I went to uh, Disney. Normally, I don't do that. Went to Disney for a little bit. Channeled there, um, and I went to Universal. Did something a little bit different, just to get a little bit more of the crowd. They have parades there and stuff. I didn't get the parade, but. Whatever, maybe next time. Just it just sound different. Um, I'll probably do something similar that next time. But when I got the Universal, it was real strange though, because uh, I did get like a. I don't know if it was an attack or what anymore. It was like an energy from you know, like there's a, a cult uh, channel out there. Um, I'll just call it John Infidelity Army. <laughs> Uh, and anyway, the energy source, like, oh, expose this person, just, just go after it. It's like, yeah, all right. And it's like, wait a minute, I'm not going to do that. Either way, I do know somebody that is part of that cult energy that she's completely, you know, yeah, she's like, she has like the mentality of a Manson family member. And he talks about, you know, he talked about recently, give you a, put some hints out there of like the, how the con, was it the, Coronavirus is fake, and he's in Sedona doing all these meditations. He's sick, you know. He's sick because he sucks. <laughs> well, who knows how many girlfriends he's got? He's married, but that doesn't matter because one of his old cult minions, you know, he can tell her to like, you know, if he does a video with her, you know, she dress up all attractiveness, and then he can probably tell her to lay in a bathtub and wear what he wants her to wear, and she'll do it. And this guy's married, <laughs> whereas wife he doesn't aware of it. And it tells you that she has that kind of Manson family mentality of, you know, she knows everything and she just, it's just that it fits so perfectly. And he's kind of like, he's not a Charles Manson, it's more like a, uh, a David Koresh type. Uh, I don't know if it's in the violent side. I can see him doing it. He's an ex-convict. Uh, he's pretty much just a, just a scumbag. And he's like, of course, when the persona he puts on, on all, anyway, the reason I bring this up is because that was the energy I got hit with in the beginning. So was, my mind was not, you know, because I do an intro video where I go to the parks, and it's like my mind was not exactly thinking right. I don't know if it was a hit or maybe it was also of things to come, whatever it might be. It's not my job. But anyway, it's on my, uh, to give you a little bit more back. So yeah, to just get like a trail of events. And let me tell you, I traveled throughout the day, I was fine. Um, not, no issues. Sometimes I might, I figure out how to not to get sunscreen in my eyes and all that. I figured all that out. Uh, but when I went to Owens Adventure, I did things differently. I went to a different direction I normally do. Now, all this will be, this is all recorded, but it won't be uploaded for a while. I'm still uploading January still, so, and this is about March. So it's going to be a little bit, I'm trying to speed things up, but... We'll see. I got a bunch of stuff I got that's going to be uploaded. So, anyway, um, you'll know it when you see it. Well, it has Poseidon in the title. No, but anyway, I'm going to be kind of a run through of it anyway. So, and it, it was interesting. I did my intro at Islands Adventure in a Poseidon type of area. It's in the back, in the back of me, actually. So, uh, the gods. I channeled before that, you know, okay, then I did an intro of that. And my mind was thinking a lot better there. I don't think it affected the channelings before, but whatever happened at Universal took me a while. I mean, it was like a, a download. I don't think it was necessarily an attack or what it was or things to come. I don't know yet. I'll have to figure it out. It's not that important. But yeah, there is a, definitely a cult. Yeah, this thing about the spiritual stuff. Some of these people, they put on this fake persona. They're just completely two-faced. I mean, John... You know, infidelity army is, is two faces they come. <laughs> but you have these little cult minions that are lost 
he's, he got them all brainwashed because he has a, a big following. And for some reason, they're into him. I don't know why they're so... Whatever. I don't know why I know these people. It's gross, but whatever. Scumbags, basically. <laughs> but either way. Uh, so, uh, all right, with the channel I did, a channel day, Alan's Adventure did an intro, did a channel to a duck uh, from a time-traveling duck. That was pretty funny. I forgot. I don't know what happened with that. Everything was fine with that. And then I, I was thinking, it's like, who am I going to bring in? Sometimes it's really clear, sometimes it's not. And I was channeling it. I was going in a different direction than I normally do. And I felt uh, Giants from Agartha. And um, then Poseidon came through. And I just said, Poseidon was fine. Is what... I felt like I walked through a portal. All of a sudden, my eyes got all red. Or it felt like they got... I couldn't see. I was being interfered with. I don't think it was Poseidon either. But, yeah, I mean, my eyes were watering, could not see. Uh, and it kept saying the same thing over and over again, that Zeus is here. And to go, I don't think it went to too much depth into that. So some channelers uh, picked up messages that Zeus was not here anymore. He's not allowed to be here, yada, yada, yada. But I believe, I have a channel text on this I have not gotten into. And I was going to mention this earlier but I have not done it for obvious reasons. They don't want me to do it. They've been putting another, you know, cult leader army in my, my mind instead. Trying to get me away from all this. Sometimes maybe I'm maybe a little bit step ahead in some way. I don't know. But um, anyway, I believe that there's demigods in the Bible. Zeus is one of them. Uh, and is not exactly the most positive one. So Zeus never went away. Zeus went to Jupiter. He never went away. And that's like certain information people are not ready for. And is like protecting others. It has different reasons. I don't know what it is. This is what happened. I channeled Poseidon. Everything's fine. He says about Zeus coming back. I don't remember everything. Yeah, that he bring. Yeah, yeah, that he brought in a science fiction writer like Philip K. Dick, for example, for disclosure. So it kind of gives you kind of a little bit. It's like these guys are not just alien beings. There's a little bit more like the architecture of our reality hidden. Uh, there's there's more to it than just a couple of alien gods doing it. But you know their presence has not left. Like with ISIS, ISIS hasn't left. You know, so a lot of people believe they're connected to ISIS in some sort of way. So there's there's a lot to that. Uh, so anyway, I'm channeling. I'm like, my eyes are red. I can't. I can't do this. So I stop. I hit the stop. I clear my eyes out. It's like, okay, I should be fine now. I, I bring them back in, and it's on the recording too. I believe it got recorded. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it wasn't like a deep message or anything. I was too busy getting slammed. <laughs> but you got it, it. Either way, yeah, I don't think it got to no. Uh, I guess it, anyway, so I, I channeled for a little bit and then I, I was fine. All right, I, I, I fixed, you know, I cleared my eyes, I hit record, I bring it back in. I was fine for a moment and then I feel screwed up again. My eyes watering again. I'm hot, I'm hot. I'm just like, it's like, get the hell out of it, don't do this anymore. I couldn't freaking believe it. So I felt really like I felt dizzy too. Before that, I feel like I walked through a portal. That's on the video too. I felt I walked through something, but yeah, it just it was like energy. I, I thought it was an attack, but now I'm looking at it as like you know, just stopping me from connecting to him. Because Poseidon apparently has some stuff that he can say to fuck things up or whoever. I don't know. I'm gonna still, I'm gonna still do the fuck. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm gonna do something, <laughs> but anyway, I stopped the recording. I said, okay, I'm done with that. I'll just shoot some scenes like I usually do. Same old crap I shoot. Uh, just to give you an idea. Where does I do that? It just just to give you an idea of what's around, what's, you know, whatever, people watching, whatever it is uh, for the video. And I felt fine after that. I felt fine. As long as I'm re if I was channeling beside, I'd be all fucked up. If I'm not channeling beside, I'm fine. I was fine. Like I said, I was fine all day long. 
So like it was like going to the park before Universal. It's kind of justified. I'm, you know, kind of like telling me it's like I, I know what I'm doing, like without getting anything in my eyes. Because you used to have a problem with that. I used to get sunscreen in my eyes. I'm, d- I'm dead meat. And I would heat up and stuff, so it probably was some kind of interference there at the time. But I have a walk around on that. But this was like, anyway, it was just, I felt like out of it after that, too. I felt just, just, just get the hell out of here. Just get the hell out. Just, so, yeah, I felt, I'll give you more, this is what I was going to bring up, uh, is that, which I haven't been bringing up. Uh, like the gods, like Atlantean, human, Atlantean, whatever you want to call them, the ancient gods. And there's all the other gods too. They're all involved with this too, obviously. And I doesn't mean they're all Atlantean, but whatever. Uh, the ancient ones, you know, the Indian, and I, uh, on and on. India has quite a bit actually, but I haven't dived at that too much into that. Probably for the best. Uh, <laughs> what I'm thinking about is probably for the best. Uh, like when you know, we can channel these beings and just give you the lottie dog, you know, the healing portion of it, which is fine. But then some of us channel and want to go into the depths of what they're they're doing and where they came from, and then you end up ill and messed up. <laughs> it's like great. <laughs> Who needs a coronavirus? Just channel these guys. <clears throat> R.I.P. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And the six feet under in the grave. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Well, I'm going. I'm just going to talk about the Greeks here. They have a connection to them. Uh, I believe a lot of them came from Agartha. So, Agarthian beings you know, enhanced, you know, Garthian beings that are Nordic beings, at least in the Greek mythology. And they're probably all connected to Agartha to a certain degree. And just enhanced, a lot of power. Um, came gods. It's all positive in the beginning and got negative. However you want to look at it, it's different ways of looking at it. Yeah, to get a, a like a, a definite idea of all of this is a little bit difficult. But some of those information the world is just not ready for. Like I said, I mean, I was fine. I channeled Poseidon. I'm all screwed up. And it's like, it wasn't like super deep information, but whatever it was, it obviously could have went a little bit further. <sighs> it's like there's just a lot of backlash with, time, with it. Not authorized, whatever, either way. I don't think it's Poseidon that did that attack. I don't know if it was an attack. I feel like Zeus was involved with it to a certain degree. Yeah, I feel that. So it's um, yeah. trouble in paradise, huh? So, yeah, that's the thing about doing this work. People want me to go in depth, go deeper. It's like, I'd be lucky if I can get anything. <laughs> if I go deeper... I don't think the world, whatever the world is ready for, will come through. So, you know, you can do all these alien stories of Palladians and Zetas flying around shooting each other or whatever it is, and that's fine. It's part of healing. Um, the other thing I'm going to go into, which I finally wrote it down, that's another thing I'm probably being blocked from, from what it feels like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, it might sound goofy right now, but when you look into their world which i'm slowly looking into it it's like you know it's right right in your face and of course it's done all goofy and everything yeah like it like we talked about last night a lot of these kids shows are so adult they're layered and mighty morphin power range i just looked at a clip and it was just you know how people got mind controlled and you know and there's this, like, this monster that can't be stopped i mean it's kind of like what we're going through now you know, we have the cult leader guy doing all his thing, and people are all Manson family 2.0 being born, you know. And as this cult leader, I'm talking about John John X uh, uh, Infidelity Army. Um, you know, he has that persona, that personality of David Koresh. You know, he really does. L. Ron Hubbard, you know, he has all his little girlfriends, his little minions. 
and they do whatever he wants. And uh, obviously not seeing the public, but honestly, it's a different story. From what I heard, yeah, he'll tell you what to do. He has to talk to you on video. He won't text with you. He has to talk to him on video. That's a yeah, slime bag, but whatever. That's up for people to, you know. Um, so that's their deal. That's their decision. Uh, but yeah, this stuff's real. Alien connections, you know, sometimes they have to lay off on those stuff. That's why we're worn out connecting these things. This stuff's real, and it's, uh, I don't know where things are going to go. Uh, I'm going to do more on the uh, the ancient gods and all that, but I don't know where I'm going to get with it. I can't guarantee anything, but yeah, I feel like the, at least, yeah, the, you know, you connect to the, the Asians. I don't know anything about the Indian gods completely, but yeah, it's, yeah, they're protecting us too from ourselves. At least I feel that from the Indians or India, ones in India. Because uh, there's a lot of deep uh, connections there, of course. So, the idea is to leave the world a better place. And hopefully, you survive it. Jeez. So, we'll see how things go. So, all right, blessings. Uh, hopefully, this is helpful in some shape or form. I'll probably go into this again uh, later on. See what else I get on it. Not telling me anything right now. I'm giving myself a break. So, I think I said, I probably said enough. <laughs> all right, blessings.